Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with another game that pits two teams from the past, but two separate eras in baseball against each other. And uh, my 1919 White Sox game was such a big hit that I decided I would go with another famous team from the past, and that's the 1921 New York Yankees. And they will be taking on the 2005 LA Angels. And I'm going to be re I'm going to be taking the Yankees because I want to be on the winning end. Um, and I'm confident that we will be, although I am going to change their starter. No, Paul Bird, that's fine. We can go with Paul Bird for them. Um, so the LA Angels will be controlled by the computer, the 2005 Angels. They won, uh, I think, 91 games, something like that. So it's not like they're a pushover. Now, if you're wondering the why, I'm going with the 2005 Angels and not the 2005 White Sox, because the White Sox actually won the World Series and had a better record than L.A. The reason is you must be getting sick of seeing the White Sox. So I know people are getting White Soxed out by me. So um, we're going to go with a different team so that people who are fans of perhaps the Angels get to see their team take on the 1921 Yankees. So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, and there's Paul Bird. There's his lovely face. And he is going up against um, Elmer Miller. I don't know who Elmer Miller is. Not one of the more famous Yankees from 1921. Although, this is the Yankees that had um, Wally Pip on it. So... I don't even know what happened there. He was out. So here's Roger Peckinpah. Everybody knows Roger Peckinpah. So one down, and Roger Peckinpah looks like he's out. And he is, and now the babe. The babe steps in, Babe Ruth. And he's going to pop out to Kennedy. So... Bird gets the uh, tough Yankees lineup, one, two, three, in the first, and we have Sean Figgins, or Sean Figgins, going up against Rip Collins on the mound for the Yankees. And Sean Figgins, did he hit a home run? Get out of here. Man, did I pick the wrong team again? Tell me I didn't pick the wrong team again. All right, Darren Erstad. Is coming up. Nobody down. Uh, Sean Figgins, for some reason, somehow, let off with a home run. And Vlad Guerrero Sr. is at the plate. And he's going to hit one deep. Looks like over Miller's head. Probably over everybody's head. No. But now he didn't catch it, so it's a double. And it, that brings up Garrett Anderson. Man, this is a tough team. Maybe I should have taken the Angels. So that's two down and Steve Finley, who in the later years of his career actually became a good hitter. But when he started out, he couldn't hit the side, broad side of a barn. So we have, uh, he is, looks like he's going to fly out to Ruth. And that is it. But the Angels got a run. And now we've got Bob Musial going up against Paul Bird. And that's going to be a fly out. Thought the 21 Yankees were good. Here's Wally Pip, the man who got replaced by Lou Gehrig just a short time later. And he's going to ground out, and that brings up home run Baker, who actually is less of a home run hitter than another guy in the same lineup with him, and that's Babe Ruth. So we got Aaron Ward up with a man aboard. Baker got on with a single. And Aaron Ward is out. So that brings up Orlando Cabrera for the Angels in the bottom of the second, facing Rip Collins. Don't make me go to the bullpen, Rip. No, that's a single. So we have Benji Molina up with a man aboard. 
and no outs. Rip Collins is getting ripped. And he allows a fly ball to Ruth, who should play it. And he does. That brings up Jeff Davinon. Now, I don't remember Jeff Davinon. And it was just 2005. I mean, you know, I was alive then. So we've got uh, Adam Kennedy. I remember Adam Kennedy. I had him on a couple of my teams, I think. So he's out. And now we are back at the plate. Going up against Bird, top of the third. We're down one nothing, and Wally Shang is going to bat against Bird. The Birdman. And that's going to be safe. He's safe. Nice. That brings up Chicken Hawks. I, you know, I'm supposing Chicken was a nickname. But he lines out anyway. Elmer Miller is up. A picture of Elmer Miller, I might have to go get one. But Elmer Miller hits one deep, maybe a double. And it is. So there's runners at second and third for the Yankees with Peckinpah up and Ruth following him. And he hits a, gets a base hit. That's sweet. I'm even going to send the runner. I don't even care. And I'm going to send the trailing runner. And we do get the two runs, and there's but there's two outs. Uh, I guess they got the trailing runner. But it's two to one now, and Babe Ruth is up. Babe Ruth is going to fly out to Guerrero. So we take the lead, two to one, and here's home run hitting Sean Figgins. Go figure. But this time he gets, um, uh, let's see, he's going to pop out. So he pops out, and that brings up Darren Erstad with one down. Here in the third inning, the 2005 California Angels are hosting the 1921 Yankees. And Erstad is out, and that brings up Vladdy, who, if you remember, Vlad Guerrero was famous for swinging at terrible pitches. So Shane doesn't, or Rip Collins doesn't really know where to put it. And that brings up Garrett Anderson right behind him with Ribeiro going to first. And he deals, and it looks like it's going to be an out. So the Yankees are back at the plate, top of the fourth, up two to one. Bob Musial at the plate, really good game. Bird is holding this tough 21 Yankees lineup. And he's out. Wally Pip is up with one out. And Wally Pip got a base hit. Wally Pip doing well, but still lost his job to Gary. And, you know, I guess looking back, we would say rightly so. Home Run Baker is up the plate. And Home Run Baker is going to ground out. No, it's an error. It's an error on the first base. So... Aaron Ward up with two on and one out. And he looks like he's going to be out. And that's a fielder's choice. So runners are now at the corner with two down. And the Shang Man is up at the plate. And he, is that a base hit? No. So, a running catch by Guerrero ends the Yankees. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the New York Yankees of 1921 up 2-1 over the 2005 California Angels or Anaheim Angels or Anaheim Angels of California, Orange County, California, West Coast, whatever you want to call them. Orlando Cabrera is up with one down. And he is going to hit a fly ball, and Ruth can't get it. He is a three in left field. So, so Molina's up with Cabrera. Cabrera couldn't get a good lead. Tried to think about stealing, so Molina's up at the plate. And the ball gets past the uh, catcher, Shang. So we got him moving up, and Molina hits a fly ball. Can Ruth get that one? And he does. So Jeff Devannon is up. And 
he strikes out. So, we will go to the top of the fifth. Two to one, 21 Yankees, who would have known? Chicken Hawks is up at the plate. And he gets a walk, Elmer Miller up. Elmer Miller ripping a base hit, and we're not going to send the runner because of 10. So with runners at first and second, no outs, I got Roger Beckinpah up. And, you know, I'm going to let Roger Beckinpah hit because this dude can get on base. And uh, there was a fast ball, so that allows the runners to move up to second and third, and Roger Beckinpah still up. And he walks to load the bases for the babe. That's what you want to see if you're a Yankee fan. And then they bring in Scott Shields to pitch to Babe Ruth. Scott Shields had to be out in the bullpen and say, please, not me. And the infield was in, but Ruth just went deep. Finley is back on it, and he makes the grab, but that should score Chicken Hawks, and it does. And so now the Yankees have a 3-1 to one lead with Bob Musial up and only one down with runners at first and second for the Yankees. And he hits a deep fly ball, and Finley is back on it. And no, that's an out, but the runners do move up on it. So they're two down with runners at second and third, and Wally Pipster up at the plate. And he grounds out to Kenny. So that's it for the Yankees in the fifth, but they have a three to one lead, and Adam Kennedy is batting against Rip Collins. I wonder if I have somebody better than Rip Collins out there. You would have to think maybe I do. Kennedy is aboard. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to pitch the shot. I tried to run with Kennedy. And uh, that's an out, but it's a fielder's choice. So Kennedy moves up to second with Erstad up. And Erstad is going to ground to Peckinpah. And now Vladdy is up at the plate. I really should walk Vladdy, you would think, maybe. But I'm going to do that, and it's caught for an out. So we have home run Baker at the plate for the 21 Yankees in the top of the sixth. The Yankees up 3-1, to one, the 21 Yankees leading the 2005 Angels. And home run Baker gets a base hit. He's aboard, and Aaron Ward is up. You notice I'm not stealing. I, maybe I could, but I don't like stealing. And uh, that's a double play, and that's one of the downsides to not stealing. Shang is up with two down, and he might have a home run. That looks like it could be deep enough. But no, it's an out. Vlad made a play. The Angels are back up at the plate in the bottom of the sixth, down three to one. Rip Collins pitching a good game. I'm not going to take him out. I mean, I'm not even going to look for the relief pitching that I might normally look for. But Garrett Anderson, I think, just went deep. Yep, he did. And it's three two. Rip Collins not liking this. Home run by Garrett Anderson and the unlikely home run by Sean Figgins have given them two runs. And they have a man aboard Finley with Cabrera up at the plate. Finley couldn't get a lead, tried to. And he, and now he walks him. So now I think we've got a situation where Collins is just falling apart. And he is. Let me go look at him. Well, I'm not going to do that. Not right now, because you don't have to warm people up. So, Jeff Devanin. Devanin, I think, is going to fly out to Ruth, but that may get the run home. Yeah, it does. So, let's go look now at who we got in the bullpen. Got some Bob Shockey action out there. Sheehan, I don't really want to bring him in. Rogers really don't want to bring him in. Now, Jack Quinn, he's an interesting one. I'm going to bring in Jack Quinn. 
So Jack Quinn is going to pitch to Adam Kennedy with two runners on and one out. And this looks like a, a Jack Quinn that was like eight years old. And he's pitching like it, too, with the base hit. And now Sean Figgins is up with the bases loaded, one out. I'm keeping the infield back. It's a tie game, and I'm hoping this 21 Yankees offense can come alive. But anyway, there's a pop-up to Peckinpah, so there's two down and Erstad up at the plate. And that's going to be probably a double. you got to guess that's a double or a homer. I'm going to throw for the lead runner, and we apparently don't get him, and it's 6-3 Angels. What a turn of events here. And now Guerrero looks like he's going to hit a home run. Is that right? No. That was played uh, by the right fielder, but the Angels got a 6-3 lead now. Three-run lead with the top of the seventh coming up in Chicken Hawks. Up against Scott Shields. And he's out. Hawks is out. We've got um, Elmer Miller. At the plate. And Elmer Miller gets a base hit. We got we to gotta work on this. Come on. Roger Peckinpah, the shortstop. And he gets out. Come on, man. Babe Ruth is up. He could put us down by just one with swing of the bat. But no, he strikes out. And you're going to get that with Ruth, too. You would think Shields will be out after this inning, but we'll see. I'm sending Jack Quinn back out there in the bottom of the seventh. He has a lot of durability, so it's not it's not like he's going to get tired. Finley is up with one down. And he is going to fly out to Ruth, hopefully. Yep. And there's two down with Cabrera up the plate. And he's two for two on the day. But it looks like he's going to pop out to Peckinpah. So, we're going to the top of the eighth. Got to have three runs really quickly here. Bob Musial's up. And if you're wondering why I didn't use the 27 Yankees, it's because I don't have the 27 season. Or, if I do have it, it's... it's um, it was uh, on, a, on a previous scooter, and I would call Strat, you know, or whatever, send them an email and have them do the reinstatement of that season, and, and, which I might do, but I didn't feel like doing that right now before this game. I wanted to get this game up. So you got Home Run Baker flying out, and now we're back in the field again in bottom of the eighth. Still down by three, and Quinn dealing to Benji Molina, who should be out, and he is. And Devannon, who should be out just because it's Jack Van, and I don't even know who he is, but he got a base hit. And uh, Adam Kennedy is up with Devannon aboard. And Devannon is trying to steal, and he does make it. I did not take that seriously. And uh, he's out. So Devannon moves to third, but there's two down now, and home run hitting Sean Figgins is up for, at the plate. Free with a homer. That might be a fly to, to Ruth, and it is. But we, we need three runs right here. It's the top of the ninth. The Yankees have got to get three runs. And they bring in Francisco Rodriguez, Eprod, their uh, closer. And Aaron Ward is going to face Eprod. And he's out. That brings up Wally Shane. Wally Shane is out. And that brings up Chicken Hawks. And Chicken Hogs out, so we lose this game. Unbelievable. We're going to have to take a look at this Yankee team. But anyway, we'll get the box score for you. So there's the stats. The Bronx Bombers, you had Rick Collins going five and a third and Jack Quinn going two and two thirds. 
but together they gave up six runs, only three of which were earned. And the Halos, well, the Halos, they won this game, with Bird going four and giving up three earned runs, Shields going another four and shutting the Yankees right down, and then Efrod coming in to slam the door. And let me take a look at that 1921 Yankees team before I leave here really quick. They were 98 and 55, but they did not, they surely did not play like it. So I hope you enjoyed that game, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.